it's wonderful how emotional it can be. Knowing the artists. 20 to 30 hours per piece. And their stories. I just like working small. <laughs> I, I, I think there's something precious about having to take the time to view something closely and really be able to look at the detail and study it. That's the magic that creates and sells I've recut the stone for your wife. Handmade crafts. I would describe it as a gleaming uh, stone uh, saying a lot very quietly. The real gem, Marianne Hunter. After 37 years, her wearable art winds up. Where else? I've gone beyond my dreams, and I can put into my pieces the things that interest me in life, fairy tales and mythology and other cultures. Maybe that's why the contemporary crafts market is also a work of art. Looking at, at uh, fine crafts is like seeing fireworks. It just excites your brain, excites your eye, the colors, the combination of colors, the unique designs that you won't find anyplace else. It's a choir of communication celebrating life. Sharon Wheat says her edgy totems talk and even heal the spirit. This piece right here is called The Seeker, and it has to do with a young lad going out on his first walkabout, and the bird is whispering words of encouragement. Weaving stories is what it's all about. I'm very happy to not claim to be anything other than a basket maker. For 30 years, Leah Danberg has walked beaches, collecting pine needles and seaweed, fashioning fibers into fame. I just love that precision and the and the finest of the work. Turning wood into bees, alabaster into light, glass into dreams. Well, it's enough to make men of steel, even mere mortals, spin. They are absolutely blown away because they had no idea that they would see so many wonderful things in, in one place. It's like visiting 250 studios and the artists sharing their creativity with you. And it's fun, so don't forget the toys collected by generations of fans and families. Hey, you guys really work in Santa's workshop, right? Right. This is really <laughs> what you do at the North Pole? That's it. Right. At the North Pole in Ventura, California. <laughs> what is the value of art in our lives? We need to have that sense of wonderment. And you can find it here. I'm Elizabeth Anderson.